Yeah. Right, Jimmy, good to see you, mate. Thanks for coming down. Uh, um, how's the training camp going for this fight? Yeah, training camp is going alright. Um, uh, norm normally, you have six weeks. I think I did a doing a five week camp for this one. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a lot different. I'm, I'm 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 it's a lot different camp than what I've done for my last fight. My my last fight was just basically a weight loss camp. I did. Uh, I spared once for that. I did three. Only once. Um, just just once. once I, did, I did. For my last fight, I, I just spared once. I went down to um, Maidenhead. I think it was. Uh, did four rounds. Solid did. Uh, I did pads three times in, in my whole camp. Really? So yeah, that's. So it's all just getting down to weight. The whole camp. Weird, weird, weird. There was no boxing at all with that camp. So I felt a bit slow when I was fighting, but uh, but I boxed well enough. So this this camp, the last camp, I come in ten to twelve kilos uh, overweight. Uh, this camp, because that camp, I was only six kilos over. So this camp now, I'm focusing more on, on my boxing, uh, getting plenty of sparring in, plenty of pad work. So the weight is not really an issue for this. So he um, rolled straight in from the old, from the other fight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, the weight was down. The weight was down. Even though I tried my hardest to put the weight on, I, I fucking couldn't. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, yeah, the way, the way was all right. So uh, this one, we come down, uh, come down with Jim Freeman, uh, and we decided, right, the weight's sound enough. Uh, I'm sitting around 70, 79 now. It's so three kilos go. So, so, so this one, uh, we're going to do a lot of boxing, uh, get the sharpness back, get, get the speed back, uh, and just just uh, put on a great boxing performance in uh, November 17th. Brilliant. Uh, you're fighting Colin Fletcher on the 17th. Um, what do you know about him? And um, I mean, what, I know, what, what, what are you going to do to deal with his style? That's what I do to deal with them all, beat them. Um, to me, to me, he's coming in as a clown. He's, he's a, to be honest, he's, he's, he put up a poster there, some shit about um, how how is how's the king's crown gonna look like on, on a on a clown. A well, lad, I'm the king of BKB, and you're just my fucking court jester, yeah. <laughs> Your job is to make people laugh, yeah. My job is to fucking rule the place, right? So get that right. I'm beating you, lad. And uh, what I'm gonna do? He's six foot two, tall, skinny, fucking awkward cunt. But uh, it's just, just uh, I don't think this kid is gonna gonna last the seven rounds. Uh, at that height, 76 kilos, with some delicate ribs on you, lad. I'm gonna break your ribs. <laughs> Fair play. And assuming you get through, Colin, um, what's what's your plans looking like for 2019? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting through, Colin. Definitely getting through, Colin. Uh, when I train, there's, there's no one out there that's beating me when I when I train. When I put in the time, put in the effort into it, uh, when I work hard, there's no one beating me. Uh, what's, what's for me after this? Uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Uh, I've done everything. Uh, I'm, I'm top of the sport. I'm, I'm pound for pound best. I'm a three-way world champion. Uh, I, um, I'll take a fight in January. I probably, I probably take six months off. I don't know. Six months. I probably, I don't know. I don't know. It's like unless they come back to me with a big name, uh, either a boxer or a MMA fighter or something like that. Yeah. No, no, so no, you're only interested in the, in the big I, names I'm, now. I'm absolutely, I've absolutely no interest in on, on, in anyone that's around at the minute. Well, well, I mean, you know, like you say, while we're on this subject, is there any names in particular you want to fight? I want to fight the big names, bring these big fighters in. There's no, no name in particular, but whatever one's up, like Colin Fletcher's a big name. Yeah, give me him, let me take his name. Yeah. And anyone else, the big names. Like, no disrespect to any of the fighters that we, have, we currently have with us, but none of them interest me. I've beaten them all, unless they put themselves in a position where, where they earn a shot at me. Yeah, I'll come down, I'll beat them as well. Yeah. But I want them to concentrate on themselves because there's a lot of them looking to fight me, but haven't earned it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm here three years. I'm 21 fights, 20 wins. Um, none of the half of these people haven't earned it. So let, so let let them concentrate on themselves. And if I feel then, if the company feels that someone has earned a shot at me from from our home fighters. I'll fight them, but as far as I'm concerned, I just want the big names. I want the names that's gone on my record. Yeah. Uh, the ones that I can look back when I retire and say, yeah, that was a good name. People can say, well, Jimmy's fought everyone. Jimmy's fought him. Jimmy's fought him. Yeah. Yeah. He's the people I want. Great. So unless you get me in them, if you don't get me in them, I could even retire. Who knows? Great. I mean, uh, just to finish off, mate, do you have anything you want to say to the fans or mention yeah, any sponsors yeah, or anything? I just want to say a massive thank you to, to, to the fans. Um, this has been a... My, my most ticket sales in, in London. I think I've done between 70 and 100 or something like that. So I want to say a massive thank you to the fans for, for showing their support, the community support. Um, 
come to the show, enjoy the show, we'll, we'll have a pint after, come watch me win again. Good man. Thank All right, you. Jimmy, thanks a lot, mate, and we'll see you on the 17th. See you there, yeah.